so now we are going to see something about the the configuration yeah if you think about the configuration of course we can think on ac microgrids or dc microgrids and i will say that it's very interesting uh, to see uh, why when Nikola Tesla and Thomas Edison had the AC and DC fight, let's say, which is also one of my favorite rock bands. Um, in that moment, they were talking about uh, a city in the United States to basically put electric lights along the city. And um, why? Why let's say DC failed, it was because they said we cannot put a generator every one or two kilometers. The problem was that they could not achieve high voltage in DC, while AC, just with a transformer, you can raise up the voltage and then you reduce the losses so that you can put a big generator. And that was nice at that time because you just put the big generator outside the city. With a transformer, you increase the voltage and you just light all the city. Uh, that's why Edison was saying AC is dangerous. It's not exactly that AC was dangerous because he was, as you may know, was killing, for instance, one elephant with, with 6,000 volt on AC. But I will say that will happen the same if you use 6,000 volt on DC. You will kill the elephant anyway. The problem was that the voltage level on DC was not enough, enough high to support long distance. So every one or two kilometers, they need to put a generator. Nowadays, it's very interesting because now we are looking on the other way around. We would like to put as much as generators as possible in short distance. 